County for about three years now, and I'm a newer medic. Me and my partner run the Civil Medic Truck on Station. Engine 7954. Five, four, truck five, squad seven, met seven, one. Seven, match 22, engine seven, match 22, NDA with injuries, community at Highway Flight, Silver Road, community at Highway Flight, Silver Road. Engine one, level one. Grab one, victim. Grab one, man. Victim's at the outside door. He's So this is where the medic sits. We usually sit on the passenger side of the truck so we can control the M MDT. It shows us your location whenever you call 911 and all the notes. So anything you tell dispatch is gonna pop up on here so we can be prepared before we get on scene. Um, we can also hit multiple buttons on this showing that we're on scene, transporting to the hospital um, or staging for a call. Most of the time, um, we also control the sirens up here while the EMT is driving so he doesn't have many distractions while driving. Um, that all just depends on your EMT though. And yeah, we do like to make sure that our gear is um, in check every single day. Um, I usually do this at 8 a.m. before I put it on the truck. I'll make sure that all of my straps are good, usable. There's no tears in my straps. Um, I like to keep my helmet preset so I don't have to reset it every single day. Um, and I like to keep my chin strap all the way out as well so that I can easily put it over my face piece. I usually check my jacket and I just make sure that my zippers are good. And then moving on to my boots, everybody has their gear set up differently. Um, I like to keep my hood in my boots. That way, the first thing I put on on a fire is my boots, and then I put my hood on to put my coat on over my hood. Um, and I keep my gloves in my right pocket. So I make sure that these are always there. Sometimes I'll stick them in my boot, but for right now, I've been keeping them in my pocket. And I'll keep my hood in my right boot. So I make sure all of that is there. So this is our cylinder and this is how we breathe. Okay, so I usually clip my face piece to my SCBA and then I'll turn it on. And you can check how much air you have in it. Right now I'm sitting at about 44 PSI, 4,400. And then I just check the display in my mask. There's three colors. Um, and I just make sure that all of the lights are showing up. Um, make sure that my seal is good. Check all my straps on this. And then I'll activate the pass alarm. So now I know my pass alarm is working. I usually let it sit for 30 seconds and make sure that it's going off. If we don't move for 30 seconds, our pack automatically alarms. So I make sure that that's going off. And then we have a red button right here in case we get an emergency, you can activate it. So I go ahead and push that one. So everything's working and I'll shut it all back off and put it back in my compartment. So after I check off the truck, I usually put all of my stuff on the med unit so it's ready to go for the day. I'll keep my pants under in this bottom compartment and I put my helmet up top along with my face piece and I keep it connected to my SCBA so it's ready to go. And then I fold my jacket just so it looks neater in. And I lay it in like that. In our compartments, we also do have tools, um, ticks, which is a thermal Im imaging camera, and we also have flashlights as well. I usually take the tick and a halogen or a hook if I go into a fire. My partner's compartment, we keep our compartments the same at all times. That way, if 
there's no confusion on a scene and I'm not thinking, oh, today I'm teching, my gear's gonna be in this compartment and we're not always swapping compartments. So he keeps his in here. He keeps the tick in his compartment. And he's got two flashlights. I had an ax in mine as well as two flashlights. So um, because it's in his compartment, he'll take the tick in flashlights. Engine three, Mr. Team. Engine three, Mr. Team for the unconscious. Beach Road, Beach Road, Redbird Circle on the cross. Tickle traffic, tack one. Today is Wednesday. Every Wednesday of the month, we go through our truck and make sure that everything has proper dates on it, nothing's expired, and we have enough supplies to last us until next Wednesday when we do another check on the truck. You just have to pull out every item. And on our truck, we've got everything labeled so you know what should be in here. And you'll go and count. There's a set number for how many we need. And if something's missing, you have to reorder it. And if it's not in date, so we check that expiration date, then we have to throw it away and order more. And you do this for the whole truck. Important to go through all the supplies to make sure that everything's within date. Everything um, is sealed and in, in the correct packaging. Some of our materials are sterile, so we gotta make sure that it stays in the sterile packaging. And if it is not, we will throw it away and order more supplies. Squad 21, Med 13, Squad 21, Med 13, respond to a pregnancy in Coventry Court, Coventry Court, Cross Street of Canterbury Road. We're gonna be city one first, dude. Take your traffic to TAC 1. Med 13, prepare for transport. We advise their status shortly. Engine 13 and 13, chest pain. Old Princeton Ridge, Princeton Ridge, Sardis Road. 13 is first, take a traffic attack one. What's going on today? Or tonight? My wife just started Yeah. Some pain in her chest area. Hard to breathe. Has this ever happened to you before? No, I have never, I've never had this, ever. Okay. And do you have any medical history? Do you take anything daily? Are you having any chest pain, or is it just you it feel like your heart's like, beating fast? Yeah, like, I'll put stickers all over your chest so I can take a picture of your heart. Print this off, I'll take a better look. But how do you feel about going to the hospital with us tonight? Do me a favor and 
bear down. I know that sounds weird, but like hold your breath and bear down. Like hold my breath. Like put your thumb in your mouth? Yeah. That's really stupid, I know. And, and pretty like, much blow it on it as hard as you can. Almost so you feel like you're going to pass out. But don't pass out. But don't pass out. Until <laughs> so you feel like you need to take a breath. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I did. Did it? I'm running up there to see the gates. I'll get to that. Hey, y'all, we're coming to you on emerge, but today with a 27 year old female at GCS 15, you know, times four. She clicks going to be heart palpations and weakness. Med 13, sick person, low water trail, low water trail, off low water drive, be 13's first due, take a trap attack mode. What's going on tonight? Well, she's 98. And she said her head felt funny, and she keep, kept saying, call 911. Our blood pressure machine didn't work, so. Right here? Yeah. Hey, ma'am. Is she talking okay. normal to you and acting uh, normal? A little bit off. What's off? I Meaning she's talking a little slower than she usually talks. <clears throat> you feel a little bit bad? Is your head hurting? No, I think she did a little bit better. Oh, okay. You're feeling better. That's good. What was wrong before? Can you lift this leg? Now. Okay. Can you do this one? Perfect. Perfect. It's better than me. No, Has she fall, right here, fallen right? here recently? No. Or, and you said no history of strokes? No. Okay. Does she take blood thinners that you know of? No. Your blood pressure is quite high. With a walker. So she's been acting normal. When did she complain about the headache? Uh, about two or three hours ago. Okay, with her blood pressure being as elevated and her speech being slower than normal and her being at this age, we always are concerned for a stroke. So we want to make sure that she can get to the right treatment. <clears throat> so with stroke alerts, we like to get bilateral IVs, go emergent to the hospital, full set of vitals. Um, I gotta do a fast ED score on her, stuff like that. Are you guys freaking trailer? I can if you want. We'll be doing the same thing probably. Yeah, she might. Did you do that one no tourniquet? Um, I don't know. You did that one with a tourniquet. What do you want to do? She complains when we have headaches and hypertension. She describes it as her head feeling heavy. Um, right now she has a blood pressure of. 210 over 92, 210 over 92. Family says she's continuing normally. Um, however, she because your blood pressure is so high, when we get to the hospital, a lot of people are going to be talking to you, okay? So this was our workout that you saw us doing. Um, this is our board that we write all of our workouts down. And yesterday we did the Tournament of Champions and we race the med unit versus the engine to see who has the fastest time and who can get a free dinner. Yesterday's workout was 30 deadlifts, 10 burpees, 20 front squats, and then another 10 burpees, four rounds for time. Um, med 13 won over engine 13. I had first place at 21.36. Engine 13, Bros had second place at 22.54. McGinnis came in third at 24.06. And Ursary had fourth at 25.32. We had a great shift yesterday, had a great workout, ran some calls. I believe we ran about five calls, two in the daytime and three at night. Um, usually for station 13 we don't run many calls at night so yesterday was a little bit not typical for us 
but it was a great shift and thank you for riding along.